So why is it that jellyfish represent such a potentially significant threat to biodiversity of marine ecosystems? Um, of course, one of the key answers there relates to the stinging tentacles that they have. Uh, those tentacles, of course, being full of nematocysts, which are the stinging cells that the jellyfish use to secure their prey. Here we have one of the best uh, examples of stinging tentacles that you're likely to find within Port Phillip Bay. Uh, this is Cyonia anascala. Um, it's what is often referred to as the lion's mane jellyfish. Also has a relative in northern waters called uh, Cyonia capillata. These particular jellyfish are very easily distinguished by their uh, very obvious reddy coloration. Um, also, those stinging tentacles are quite distinctive, but of course, uh, you often don't see them until it's too late. The tentacles themselves are often very, very thin filaments, and uh, because they're fairly translucent when uh, viewed uh, from anywhere but close range, uh, they're often very, very difficult to see. That is certainly, as far as the jellyfish is concerned, one of the best things about them. That's the beauty of those stinging tentacles, is that they're quite hard to see, and potential prey items can stumble straight into them. But really how obvious those tentacles are depends to a large degree on uh, the incident light that is shining on them. You can see from this footage here that the jellyfish actually appears to be quite cryptic until we get right in close and then we can get a quite a clear look at that bell and the, um, the, the structure of the jellyfish and you can see here from the light being caught and reflected off those tentacles that they are quite obvious. Of course, what that means is that there's potentially a hell of a lot of things that can be taken out of that water, uh, be it things like the copepods or other types of zooplankton or certainly small uh, or indeed large fish species.